Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is third video of multi vendor e commerce website in Django with React.js. In our previous video, we have set up, settled our project and uh, we have created a few models, right? So here you can see that I'm running the server and this and this is showing the welcome page of the success page or you can see the welcome page of the Django, right? And uh, here we have uh, created some models, right? So now let's uh, attach let's attach our model in a REST framework and uh, we will transfer our model data to JSON and to API or you can say API right. So let's see how we can implement. So I'm not going to create further models but uh, we will create a serializer. Serializer is responsible for transforming the data from uh, transferring our model data to JSON, uh, uh, you know, uh, JSON data, right? Sim uh, database uh, data to JSON data. So, for this, we need to do some uh, standard things. So, this is our project level urls.py. So, if I open this, here you can see that this is our project level backend API. And if you go to the backend API here, we have a urls.py file. So I have opened this. Now in this, we need to include our app URL, right? So include. So now path, I will say API slash and include, include our app name is main.urls, right? Now, when uh, when we created the app, it doesn't it, it, it has not created the urls.py file, but we need to create that. So if you go here and here I have created the urls.py file in the app uh, in the particular app, the main app. Right now in this, what we will do, first of all, we will import the path module and in the path module, we will say URL patterns url pattern this is a list right same like here okay so we'll copy this and paste it here right and uh, this will read as a api right and here we need to add our view what what we want to show in our urls right so this is our view it, currently this is uh, you know empty so we will import from dot import views right and here in the views let's say class seller list right class seller list and i'll just return okay so in the seller list we need to return all the sellers right so what we will do after creating the URLs, we will create the serializer.py file in the app. Okay, so in the app, we will create serializer. So from REST framework, import serializer, and in the serializer, we will create seller serializer and we will extend the model serializer. Right in the model serializer, what we need to do. First of all, we need to define our meta. In the meta, we will define model and model will be, we have already created the models. So let's say from dot import models. Okay, so models dot seller, uh, not seller, vendor. Okay, vendor. So this will vendor serializer, right? So this is vendor list. All right. So vendor serializer, which fields we want to show, right? So fields we have in the vendor user and address. So user and address. Okay. Now we will import the serializer in our views. So say from dot import serializer right so what we will say here 
one more thing what kind of view we want to show so from so we will see here from rest framework import genix uh, generics okay so from generics okay so from generics we will say generic dot list api view okay i will i will uh, explain you that what this list it will return the list uh, it will return the data as a list okay so let's say and here query set equal to we also need to import model so from dot import models so we will say here model start model start vendor dot objects dot all right and then serializer class equal to serializer dot vendor serializer all right now this is our view so in the url from the view we will say views dot views dot vendor list as view right okay so when we open the slash api then this will include the main urls and by default it will open the vendor list right so let's say vendor or vendors we can say right so serializer okay let's run this so it's running let's go to api okay so slash vendors okay so it is saying we have here main dot urls in the main we have this include main dot urls we'll remove this let's remove url patterns okay path vendors all right let's see here again here you can see that so this uh, this design comes by default with the django rest framework right you can say the browsable api okay and it is returning all the things http 200 and uh, this is http you know status and these are the methods content type okay so these are the things so it means our api is running now i will i i want to add some data right so what i'm going to do let's create the admin panel uh, which also comes with the django so we will use the django default admin panel so what we need to do so first of all i will close the server and i'll say python3 manage.py create super user so i'll say admin and password empty password is too similar i'll say yes okay so let's open the admin panel whatever our server address admin okay run the server okay so let's say server and this is comes with admin after creating the super user okay so we didn't added our model to the admin so let's add our add the models in the admin so let's uh, go to main uh, admins.py file and here we will import all the models first right and then we'll say admin dot register models dot sorry vendor right so if i refresh this page here what it is saying admin dot okay register 
एडमिन मॉडल इन जेंगो रजिस्टर मॉडल इन जेंगो एडमिन ओके सो लेट्स सी दिस इज द ऑफिशियल डॉक्यूमेंटेशन सो व्हाट वी विल से एडमिन डॉट साइट डॉट रजिस्टर राइट सो दिस विल बी एडमिन डॉट साइट डॉट रजिस्टर मॉडल्स डॉट वेंडर all right so now let's go in the admin see here okay so vendors let's add vendor so this is uh, some user okay so let's admin this is the default you know basic user address is test address let's add one user username is a uh, test user password is uh, what it is saying okay let's create the password okay so username we have added test user test address save okay so this is returning the vendor object i just want to return the default username so what i will do copy this paste it here and i'll say user dot username right so it will return the test user now if we go to the api and vendors it will return the data here you can see that right so this is returning the data okay later we will see that how we can return the data of the particular user currently it is returning the two but we can return all the data of this particular user right because we need to see that data okay so we have created successfully api for the vendor okay i know that we didn't apply the authentication and permissions but it is currently fetching all the data right so let's review what we have done so first of all i have included this uh, main dot urls in our uh, project level url file then we have created two files urls dot py and serializer dot py in our app main app okay so in the serializer we are sending this data okay so let's suppose i just want to send users okay so when we go here and refresh this it will only return users okay and these all are coming from vendor and in the view view is responsible for uh, returning the data okay and view is getting data from the serializer serializer getting from the model okay so serializer is responsible for transforming the model data to the json right so we will see how we can customize manipulate the data or other things other aspects or other possibilities right so this is the simple thing that we have created and uh, later we will uh, complete our uh, so these are the things we will apply the we will create more serializer we will create more more models views and url and then we will apply the uh, permissions authentication on all of these things okay then we will after completing this we will uh, start the uh, front end right so in the next video we will create uh, our more model serializer and uh, urls okay so thank you so much for watching this video and uh, if you want if you need the practice project so you can download the django projects from projectplaza.com right so i am uh, uh, th these are the okay let me show you projectplaza.com okay so here from here you can download the projects okay at very low level price and uh, this is also big support for me okay you can also support directly from with the paypal or uh, any other method if you want you can check the about us section right and uh, yes if you are if you have not subscribed this channel then please subscribe this channel right and join the membership and uh, thank you so much for watching this video uh, next uh, we will do lot of things okay thank you so much